Nintendo announced $232 million losses, with sales of hardware almost halving year on year. With initial excitement surrounding Pokemon Go, Nintendo received a very healthy, but brief, share price boost, promptly reminding their shareholders that they only own a 32% stake in Pokemon Go, while Niantic and the Pokemon Company having much greater stakes. This announcement saw the immediate decrease of their share price by 18%. With no Pokemon Go profit figures yet being recorded, we still wait to see how this new global success performs. More details surrounding the Nintendo NX, Nintendo's next console, seem to have surfaced online. From what we've heard, Nintendo appear to be keeping the NX within the boundaries of what Nintendo are good at, by which we mean they appear to be making this a portable console. Although first and foremost this will be a handheld device, the NX is able to plug directly into your television and has what is being called a detachable controller, or controllers. In a slightly strange but hugely nostalgic move, the NX is reported to take game cartridges but also have an online store. At present there appear to be no plans to make this backwards compatible, however knowing Nintendo they will release older games via a virtual console for you to buy. Again for the fifth time. Ratchet & Clank The Movie has a digital download and DVD release date. Coming out first as a digital download on August the 22nd and DVD a week later on the 29th, this family-friendly delight, based on the gaming franchise of Epic Proportion, follows the tale of lovable Lombax, Ratchet, and his tiny accomplice robot friend Clank. If you're a fan of the Ratchet & Clank franchise, this will be a film you'll need for your collection. Sega have announced Yakuza 0. This prequel to their much-loved series will be touching down on January 24th, 2017 in both America and Europe for the PlayStation 4. Set sometime in the 1980s, it follows the origin stories of Kazuma, Kiryu, and Goro Majima, promising the most intense battles in the franchise history and tons and tons of ways to spend, make, or take money, Yakuza 0 could just be the game to start 2017 off with a bang. For the first time ever, the general public will be able to attend this year's Golden Joystick Awards. Tickets are just £10 each for the event, which grants you a balcony seat. The event, on 18th of November at Indigo O2 at the O2 Arena in London, which has run for the past 34 years, drew over 9 million votes in 2015 and 2016 will be no different. If you want to be there in person from 3.30pm to 5pm, jump on www.goldenjoystickticketseverbright.com now. But hurry, tickets are on a first come first serve basis. Over the past week or so, a few games have come out which you may or may not be aware of. Here's our look at a few of the key movers and shakers. Headlander touched down on PlayStation 4 and Steam on 26th of July. Developed by Double Fine Productions, who brought us reboots of Psychonauts and Grim Fandango, is a Metroidvania action platformer in which you play a disembodied head. You'll cast aboard a spaceship which you have to achieve various difficult tasks to ensure your freedom. Set in a strange robotic society themed on the glorious 1970s, you must control your head via a number of bodies with different abilities to achieve the tasks at hand. Beautiful graphics which are as much about what's in the foreground as what's in the background. If you're a Metroidvania or puzzle game fan, Headlander could well quench your thirst. Brutal, a debut game from developer Stormcloud Games, is being released on the 9th of August as a PlayStation 4 exclusive. This roguelike dungeon crawler which uses ASCII style graphics will set you back £11.99. The gameplay is a fusion of old and new within a stunning yet slightly monochrome setting. Choose from Ranger, Mage, Warrior or Amazon, each with their own unique flair and style. There are 26 procedurally generated levels, skill trees and crafting. There's a dungeon creator mode for the artsy among you, which also allows for sharing. Brutal also has local co-op for two players and online leaderboards. If you want something different, simple but beautiful to look at and play, choose Brutal. PSN members also get a 20% discount prior to launch. Overcooked from Ghost Town Games is a chef-based madcap co-op party game which is as furiously paced as anything we've ever seen. Teamwork is the order of the day in Overcooked where you must prepare, cook and serve up food as well as ensure you collect and wash up dishes, prevent kitchen fires and navigate the craziest kitchen based levels we've ever seen. 
28 campaign levels, local co-op for up to 4 players, 9 versus levels, 11 achievements and a whole array of crazy kitchen culinary skills to master. Setting you back £12.99, this PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Steam PC game will be out from the 3rd of August. So that wraps it up from the game shed, remember to check out our Twitch channel, drop this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and until the next time, see you later.